it's here. It's finally here. Avengers Infinity War? Let's talk about it. What is up guys? Welcome to What We Watch. I am Matt and today we are going to be taking a look at Avengers Infinity War which came out last night. I saw it and it was, well, first things first. This is a completely 100% spoiler free review. Future Matt is watching this right now, combing it over with a fine tooth comb and making sure that no beans are spilled. All the beans will remain unspilled. Future Matt here, you're good to go. Until a future video. So if you have not seen the movie yet, you can watch this review if you're just curious. Maybe you're gonna go see it this weekend or later but you want to kind of just know our general thoughts of what we thought of the movie, go ahead, keep watching completely safe. And we will have a spoiler discussion later in a separate video. Infinity War is unlike any movie that we have ever seen. Not because its technology is so great or the story is so ground shattering, but just the accomplishment that it is. 18 films over the period of 10 years encompassing dozens and dozens of characters, well-built characters, all coming together in one huge film. Um, all these films were directed by different people, starred different actors, had different tones, but all coming together to make this one big film. And while that's a huge accomplishment and that should be applauded from start to finish, it makes the movie very interesting because... A lot of people are looking at this movie and um, possibly even critiquing the actual movie itself, which I think has some uh, basis. I think that it has some validity to it that you can criticize this movie. I've saw a lot of things that happen in this movie that if they were to happen, um, I hate to do this comparison, but in the DC universe, or if they were just to just happen in any other franchise, then Marvel would be being picked apart and criticized, but because this movie is kind of um, uncharted territory. We've never seen anything like this, and so when you put it all together, you almost have to view this movie as an event, an experience, less of a movie that has a three-act structure and a um, plot, but just something that you are a part of of. Um, that's one of the most, uh, my quickie review over on Stardust last night, the last thing I said is you have to see it soon. You have to see it in theaters and you have to see it soon. And I think both of those are true because I'm really curious of how the trans, like the translation of this movie is going to go once it's on Blu-ray and once you can watch it on Netflix and things like that. If it will have the same effect because Part of the appeal of this movie is not necessarily the movie itself, but the experience of all of this coming together in this really epic experience. It was great to see all of these characters and balanced so well. One thing that I will criticize the DC Universe for, and I think it's completely justified, is the fact that they rushed uh, things like Justice League, and they rush things like Batman versus Superman, where you were throwing all these people in, but you didn't really care about any of them because they weren't very well built to start with. Now, this is the exact opposite. Everyone gets their moment to shine. Everyone gets a really cool scene. And that was probably one of my biggest worries going into this movie, was that it was almost too many, what's the thing, too many cooks in the kitchen or something like that where there's just too much going on and everyone is going to suffer because of it but they did such a good job of making me genuinely excited every time that one of these characters was on screen characters that I didn't really care for I all of a sudden cared for characters that I loved I loved even more and so it just elevated everybody such a huge accomplishment to have so many different characters and I didn't feel like any of them were really slighted. So if you're nervous about that, don't be nervous. You're going to get that scene with your character that you love and they are going to knock it out of the park. Some things that I liked and some things that I didn't like. 
One of the biggest things I liked was Thanos and the Black Order. In my previous video where I made some predictions, I actually made the prediction they were going to waste these characters. They were just going to be cannon fodder for the Avengers. But I will say, without a doubt, this is probably the first Marvel movie where I felt hopeless. Where I felt like it was not going to work out okay. There's a scene, and this is not spoilers because in the trailers, where Thanos says, you will know what it's like to lose, to know that you're right and fail all the same, or something along those lines. And that's what this movie felt like. It was the first time where I thought, okay, so, like, because we've all seen movies and we kind of know in the back of our brain that at the end of the day, the good guy is going to get this pep talk and then overcome the bad guy. But just Thanos and the Black Order were almost so overwhelming that our characters felt completely unprepared and completely overpowered. It was so good to see from a villain standpoint because it made me genuinely anxious and on the edge of my seat the entire movie because I knew that if it's your best game versus their best game, the bad guys are winning. Unless something miraculous happens, the bad guys are winning. And it felt like that the whole time. And so, Thanos and the Black Order were one of my favorite parts of this movie. And then my biggest complaint about this movie, once again, no spoilers, but is probably the fact that they get away with a lot of stuff that wouldn't fly in other movies. And I kind of have to give it a pass. I understand that that's maybe not fair, but this is different than almost any other film that has ever been created. They kind of get a pass because they do everything else so well. Um, I still think it's fair to criticize them, and we will dig deep into that in the spoiler review. But there's just some times where, like I said, it's not necessarily a great movie, but it is something that you need to experience and check out. Especially, this is something, obviously, if you are a Marvel fan in any way, shape, or form, you just can't miss. It's literally impossible for you to not go see this movie if you want to be kind of in the loop of what's happening. But... Uh, all that being said, they do kind of, like, cut some edges, and I give them a little bit of leeway because they balance everything else so incredibly well. But they do kind of cut some edges and jump around and be a little bit choppy, but I feel like they kind of have to do that because there's just so much that they have to get into this movie. Overall, Infinity War, while it might have not been the best film I have ever seen, while it may have not been leaps and bounds better than any action movie I've ever seen in my life, it was something that I truly think you have to experience. It reminds me a lot of a ride, um, where you don't necessarily go for, you know, the great uh, story arc of a roller coaster. But the thrill and the experience of saying that you were a part of it and seeing it all come together is kind of what makes this movie so great. I really enjoyed it. I would say see it on the biggest screen possible. See it in theaters because, once again, I'm not sure how well it will translate. I don't even know if people are going to want to see this movie unless they're looking for deep, deep Easter eggs in like two to three months. The rewatchability of this movie is probably pretty slim, uh, maybe once, maybe twice more, but it is because it is an experience. It's just something that you need to watch and enjoy, and just all of this marvelness that we've been experiencing over the past 10 years kind of coming to this crescendo. And so it's really great to see that. Once again, not the best film, but I feel like while it's not super fair, I'm letting a lot of that slide because of how well they did something that we've seen done poorly um, in other team-ups and mash-ups and um, coming-togethers. Uh, we've seen it fail so many times, and the fact that they were able to pull it off and not shortchange anybody is incredible. So I'm giving them a little bit of leeway with that. So if you're going because you're a film critic and you just love, uh, you know, awesome story arcs and all that sort of stuff. Maybe this isn't the film for you, but if you love Marvel and you love what they've been doing over the past 10 years, 
you need to experience this film, and you need to experience it soon and in a movie theater. So go get your tickets, and then come back on Monday, because on Monday we will be doing our completely spoiler-filled, spoilers everywhere you look, review. And so if you really cannot wait, if you really want to discuss spoilers about what did I think about this and what did I think about that, over on our Instagram at what we watched, I am going to be posting a spoiler posted picture and you can post all of your spoilers and all of your thoughts and everything that you want to talk about right in there. Please try to leave the comments down below as spoiler free as possible for those who have not yet enjoyed the movie. That's going to be a review on Monday and then on Wednesday we're going to take a look at what does this mean for the future. We're going to talk post credit scenes, we're going to talk about what um, the fallout of this movie and what it means for phase four and the rest of of the Avengers, and that is going to be next Wednesday. So make sure that if you go, you see the movies, try to see it this weekend, and then on Monday, come back for the spoiler-filled review, and then on Wednesday, we'll talk about what happens now. So overall, Avengers Infinity War, definitely check it out. Flawed as a movie, great as an experience, and an experience that you need to see. That's it for me here at What We Watch. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this video, like this video, comment down below when you're going to go see the movie. If you've already seen it, are you going to see it once, twice, a million times? Let me know and be sure to come back on Monday for the spoiler filled where we can talk about how our minds are being blown about what happened in this movie. Once again, if you just can't wait, head over to our Instagram at what we watch and go ahead and post on that thread all of your theories and your thoughts and your angers and your happiness and all of of that fun stuff. Once again, I'm Matt from What We Watch. Thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you on Monday.